There were some positive moments, but SpaceX says its mega rocket Starship failed to complete its third test flight. It follows two other unsuccessful attempts. CBC News science reporter Nicole Martellaro joins me now with more on today's launch. So even what we're just saying there, Nicole, in terms of what you deem as success can sometimes be up for debate. But maybe take, start by taking us through some of what happened today. Well, you know, it, it was a success. For, you know, um, did it accomplish its entire mission? No, but almost all of it. It launched. It did the hot staging where the second stage uh, actually ignites its engines while the first stage powers down a bit. They separate. Uh, it got into sub uh, into orbit. I'm going to say orbit. It's actually suborbital uh, configuration because it's not going around the Earth. Uh, they reignited the Raptor engine in space, which was one of their goals. They tested the uh, payload bay doors. Again, the little Pez dispenser thing, and that worked. Um, and they did a fuel transfer within Starship. That worked. Unfortunately, what didn't work was when uh, the tiles, it looks like when they, they were testing the tiles w during re-entry, uh, the ship was lost. But it was, it was at an altitude of 65 kilometers. It was close. It was coming back. So I think this is a definite win, and I can't wait to see when the next launch will be. And these pictures, certainly, what we're looking at right now. This is incredible. It's incredible. It's just amazing what we were able to see. Why is this mission so important? Yeah, so, you know, I'm going to start with on SpaceX's side. You know, founder Elon Musk wants to make the, uh, you know, the, the argument that we are will be uh, Inter, uh, inter, uh, sorry, I should say, we will be going to Mars. I'm going to say interplanetary species is what I was trying to say. Um, and also, he wants to test, that's why he was testing those uh, that payload bay door, because he wants to spit out more Starlink satellites. But really, for NASA, a, a version of this is the human landing system, and that is, uh, you know, necessary. Without it, Artemis III doesn't happen, and we don't get down to the moon. So this is another thing. And NASA's watching this, and NASA's used to how they work. You know, this isn't a failure for them. It's a test. So this is why it, it was so important. And I'm sure we will be seeing a lot more launches uh, in the coming months. OK. We know that you will be there alongside <laughs> all of us to help us understand what it is that's going on as well. But for now, thank you. We appreciate this. Thank you. Nicole Martellaro for us.